you might find yourself in a situation where you are trying to record yourself in an uncontrolled environment. You do your best with the lighting, but you just end up with those dark circles around your eyes. So how do you go from this, the dark circles around your eyes, to something like this, dark circles minimized? The trick to be able to effectively uh, get rid of those dark circles is a thing within Adobe Premiere uh, when you're using Lumetri, uh, which if you go to color and you go to the HSL hue saturation luminosity secondary, if you use this tool, you'll be able to remove all those dark circles. This video is going to showcase how to do that. Folks, welcome. My name is Bilal Khan coming at you from Space City, AKA Houston. This channel is all about helping you unleash your creative and make your ideas real using digital media. This video was a basically a batch of videos that was sent over to me for a seminar that's uh, being produced. Um, but this, these videos were a series of promotions that were going to be used as a means of promoting and marketing the seminar. When an individual records themselves, they don't always have control over the environment that they're at, either because the windows and sunlight and overhead lighting. So even in a situation like this, right, if I were to go boom, right, and just to kind of give you an example, normally, if I were to just kind of turn off all of the uh, different adjustments that I have, right, to turn off this light, boom, there's already a lot of dark circle lighting just because of the fact that there's this harsh yellow light from the ceiling coming down um, uh, but if I were to simply turn that off while well, it's too dark in the room so then I need essentially a key light uh, to light my face boom that takes care of that and then just need a little backlight to kind of uh, separate me from the background so this essentially allows you to not have those dark circles or if you wear glasses and whatnot maybe you have depressed eyes and so as a result you know you might get those it might be more difficult to reduce those dark circles despite having uh, all of the appropriate lighting in place so one of the things that you can do is you can fix it in the post uh, or at least minimize it the way we do that is let's say you load up your project let's say you got your clip right whatever the uh, final clip is i'm just going to move to a segment in the timeline where there's a neutral uh you know portrait look so one of the things with this tutorial that uh, we want to consider is that i'm assuming you've already done your color corrections of the image in terms of uh just to kind of give you an idea what this image was before we started right so this is what we began with right it was a little yellow white balance was off um, and so I just went ahead and corrected that, assuming you've already done that. Now what you want to do is you want to address the dark circles under, under the eyes. Uh, what I would suggest is first go ahead and create an adjustment layer, right? The way that you create an adjustment layer is make sure you're in assembly or edit, right click, new item, adjustment layer, and uh, you'll see the adjustment layer options. Select whatever is there. It's giving you the settings based on what your timeline is. So you just click OK. Uh, I've already created my adjustment layer and I've already dragged it into the timeline. And so from here, make sure this adjustment layer is selected and you click on color. But you'll notice sometimes, this is not, it didn't happen in this case, but sometimes what happens is that you might select it and for whatever reason, the video is actually uh, collect, uh, selected. Just double check both times before you click on the color tab and after. So make sure it's selected. And then from here, the thing that you want to go to is HLS secondary. Now HLS secondary is a tool that allows you to select certain areas, certain colors from here, click on the eyedrop, select the dark area. And then if you want to see what area of the dark area was selected, just click on uh, the color gray and you'll notice um, this looks like a Greek sculpture. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to uh, easily, a little by little, uh, maybe select two or three more times other dark areas. The way you do that is you select the eyedropper with the plus. And from here you go to uh, another area. Uh, you select how much more was selected. Now you notice that areas outside of the face are also being selected. That's okay. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll address that in a moment. Let, let's say you get to this point. That's pretty much like uh most of the dark circle areas good enough after that just denoise it 
and add a little bit of blur. And from here, let's just go ahead and apply the uh, the reduction of the uh, dark shadows. And you'll notice, like again, too high looks like foundation, too low looks like Dracula. So just kind of like somewhere in, uh, somewhere in the middle uh, where the dark shadows are not so prevalent. But at the same time, uh, you want to get rid of, you want to isolate the face, you want to create a mask. Okay, and the mask is what's going to allow you to just simply isolate the dark circle areas. The way you do that is, uh, so just go ahead, boom, just right around the hairline, right? Just kind of follow the beard and we're pretty much done, right? And then make sure that your feathering settings in terms of how much feathering there is, um, just around the face, opacity, how harsh, do, oh, of course I want the mask to be 100%. Um, how tight do I want it to be? I can bring it in and out. Uh, and from here, I click on uh, the thing and you'll notice now the settings are only being applied to the face. Just to kind of showcase before and after, right? So here you go, again, before and after. Uh, this allows you to make whatever image that you're trying to capture look a little bit better. So I hope that was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other tutorial or uh, little tip or trick that uh, you would like to see uh, demonstrated for your benefit and value. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you soon.